Alrighty guys, so I wanted to do an update video for you guys because I did get a couple new things for the computer as well as I've also, you know, done a couple of, uh, you know, run-throughs on a bunch of different things. Um, I was making an unboxing video of uh, this keyboard and as well as my new power supply. However, it ended up getting deleted uh, off my phone, so I don't understand what happened. But long and the short of it, um, this is my new keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard and just to make some noise and let you hear the mechanical portion of it. It is a uh, Cherry, well, it's the uh, Japanese version of the Cherry MX uh, keyboard. It's a Thermal Take Poseidon Z. Uh, I got it for $80 at Best Buy. And uh, basically it comes with the, uh, let me get this key off. There we go. Um, here, we'll just turn this down. So basically it comes with the Japanese version, uh, or version, I can't talk. Come on. Focus. There we go. The Japanese version of the Cherry MX Blues, um, which you can see right there. And like I said, it's not a uh, Cherry MX Blue, but it does serve the same purpose. Um, and like I said, these keys pop off pretty easily. You could swap them out. You could do whatever you want with them. Uh, it doesn't come with any other like keys like the other one would. Um, like if you were to get a higher grade, like a uh, Corsair. Or something like where you could swap out these keys or you know your QWER or even like customize like the key the way it lit up um, so pretty much you know you have your your down your up with the brightness uh, you have your volume keys here you have to hold FM in, in order to do anything with it uh, you have your media keys up here as well you also have to hold FN um, you have your Windows key there's actually a Windows key lock over here so if I was to type, hit Windows right now, it does nothing. Um, but, I mean, you can hear it's pretty pretty audible. <laughs> My girlfriend hates it. <laughs> Which I can't say I blame her. Um, like I said, it's a really good keyboard. I've been playing on it re recently quite a bit. Um, you know, since I got the new computer all set up and everything like that. Um, I'm going to get down here. I'm going to get down and show you everything with the new computer. Or with the computer. Uh, stuff I've done to it and so on. Pull this out a little bit so you can see. I can't pull it too far because I had it hooked up to my TV. Um, then why is that white? Hold on. <laughs> You're not matching the color schemes. Hold on one second, guys. Configuration panel. The only thing I don't like right now is that the, uh, you'll see it in a second, that's going to change colors. Alright, so I dropped it all the way down, I gotta go green. Basically you have to calibrate the LED <laughs> um, once in a while. It's just a glitch with the Corsair Link, they're still working on it. I've actually contacted Corsair about it and they even told me they're working on it. It's, it's a glitch in their programming. <laughs> but you can see it's a uh, nice blue. It matches my LED blue uh, blue LEDs right now. Um, so yeah, these I could turn down, brighten them up. That's like full brightness. I can even turn them off. You know, and black out the whole case and then all you see is the Corsair uh, H100i cooler. Um, so I'm going to take this off. Actually, there's no point in taking this one off. I'll take off the other side. This side, you can see clearly into the case, so there's like no point in taking this off. It's just going to web dust in my case. Um, so yeah, anyway, the R9270X is my graphics card. Uh, it's a 4 gigabyte dual suspension. Works in Mantle. The only thing is that my uh, CPU uh, does not work in Mantle. So I have to get a new CPU, which I'm looking at the 7850K uh, by Kaversky. I think it's Kaversky. I could be wrong. Um, but anyway, it's the 7850K is what I'm looking at. Uh, it's going to be overclocked to 4.5. Right now, this this APU is clocked to 4.5. Um, so that's working pretty nicely. As you can see, I did take out some RAM. Uh, I took out the two 4 gig RAM cards. I basically just discovered that it's like not working correctly 
uh, that basically this these two cards and the other two cards were on a completely different quack set and that these two cards can be get over quack to 2133 whereas the other two cards cannot they're locked so long and short of it got rid of those gave them to my brother uh, he's loving it because it's working in his computer now and hey he doesn't have any issues um, flipping around to this side which is the boring side of the case. Um, now, one thing I did have to do after upgrading the motherboard and everything like that. Hold on one second, I gotta put a little pressure on this case. There we go. Uh, the one thing I did have to change was, and again, I was gonna make a video of this, but I didn't get the time or the chance to. It's kinda dark down here. Um, but anyway, this is my 850 watt power supply. Absolutely beautiful power supply. You can actually see the red LEDs from the uh, sound card that's built into the uh, Crossblade Ranger. It goes all the way through the case. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, but yeah, this is the Thermal Take 850 watt. Now this thing runs perfectly cool, um, and it's really cool too because when it's running at idle, like just sitting here not doing anything, not powering, you know too much this fan will actually turn off and shut off and you know be uh, you know cooled down other thing that's nice about this uh, power supply is it's actually a semi modular so like uh, the main cords like your CPU power and your uh, motherboard cord are still going to be hooked up to you know the, uh, the main power supply in here whereas the modular portion to it is your S uh, your SATA cables um, like these uh, any additional fans like that need that uh, four pin cord and uh, your PCI uh, express cord so right now I have a PCI express cord plugged in I have uh, obviously a SATA cable uh, one plugged in and I have a four pin for the uh, LEDs so that's pretty much it um, that's the new upgrades um, overall I personally think this computer is an absolute beast um, <laughs> my girlfriend wants to steal it One second, I'm gonna make a little bit of noise you guys can listen to the fans really quickly I mean, this computer runs really quiet, too. That's the other thing that's kind of nice about it is, I mean, you guys are sitting right on top of fans right now. I don't know how well you can hear me, uh, but right now you're sitting on the top of the H100i fans, um, and they're not running full tilt right now. They're just kind of running idle, um, which isn't a bad, you know, bad thing. And like I said, for now, it's, you know, it's just going to stay nice and cool in here. But this computer, I, I, you know, since I've had it, and since I put it in this case, ran the H100i, um, you know, everything's been running really cool in it, and I haven't had any issues as far as, like, overheating or anything anymore. Um, so I don't get that error message anymore. Only time I got the error message is when I did try to overclock, and uh, <laughs> the graphics card couldn't take it, and then the CPU couldn't take it. So, I mean, that was natural. That happens. Um... I'm actually going to, like I said, do that when I get the new CPU. Uh, I'm actually going to purchase uh, 2133 uh, AMD RAM as well with the CPU. So I've got another $300 <laughs> invested into this computer, but once it's done, it's done, and that's pretty much it. I'm not going to invest anything else into it. CPU is getting changed, RAM's getting changed, and I'm done. <laughs> uh, I'm getting four 4 gigabyte cards. It's basically the same price as the two sixteen gig or two eight gigs. Um, so I mean, you know, four four gigabyte cards will read a little bit faster than two two uh, two eight gigabyte cards. Um, just because it's going to be used all four slots, it'll also use a little less power as well. Just because the eight gigs actually use more power, apparently, from what I've been reading. Um, I actually did take out the Wi-Fi card just because. What's the point of having a gigabit or a gigabit uh, Ethernet cable port when you're not going to use it? Um, and I also have a gigabit, ugh, 
gigabit router that allows one gigabyte of uh, one gigabyte per second through the uh, router itself as well. Um, so I mean, overall, like I said, this computer flies. Gaming is like flawless. Um, you can see right here I have the GPU tweak open. Um, this is actually one of the programs. Hold on a second, guys.